it's Alex from LaughingPlace.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at this year's uh, member gift for D23. Um, you might remember last year uh, there was a, a box that looked like a book um, that was all items from the desk of Walt Disney. This one is themed to the nine old men. Um, and so it's the, the last box was red, kind of a maroon. This one's blue. It's got the D23 logo there. Um, on the spine, it matches up perfectly with the last one. It has the D23 logo on the top, uh, the title of this volume, and then the volume number down at the bottom. And on the back, uh, it is sealed by the Walt Disney Archives. And then this side looks like the book. That's how we open it. Um, so we will take a look at what's inside. Um, so on the inside cover, it has kind of a listing of all of the items um, that will be in here. And you can see some of them already there. I'm just going to um, walk through kind of uh, all 23 items that are in here. D23, 23 items. Um, very nice collection. Um, so the first one says Mickey Mouse Animation Drawing by Les Clark. And I am going to assume that is uh, this top one. So this is a, a scan of an original um, rough animation. I think it's rough animation. Nope, looks like it might be cleanup animation, um, but drawing by Les Clark, it has the um, the animation peg board uh, holes at the bottom, which is really neat. Um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs premiere police pass. So this is from 1937, um, same year that Snow White came out. This is the Carthay Circle um, premiere police pass, um, also from 1937. So this is an item that you would have um, worn, I guess, on you as a police officer at the premiere of Snow White. I'm going to flip these upside down so I can keep them all in order. Uh, number three is a dopey fan card. So I'll show this off and read a little bit about it. It says, this was drawn by Ellie Johnston. This irresistible portrait of the breakout star of Snow White was sent to by the studio in reply to fan mail, while also signifying the Night Old Dunn's talent for creating unforgettable characters for each new Disney film. So that's pretty cool. It's a wonderful drawing of dopey. Uh, next up, we have a Walt Disney inner office memo to Milt Call. Um, so there's the copy of the memo, um, Walt's signature in uh, red pencil. It says, Dear Walt, since the critics have voted Snow White the best picture for 1938, I thought you might like to stow away this attached copy of Film, Dis Film Daily with all the other memoirs you may be saving for your grandchildren. Anyway, I think we should all be very happy that the picture was selected as 1938's best. Um, be awesome if we could track down a copy of that film daily. I bet you that's a hot collector's item. Uh, number five says Walt Disney Studios Seasons Greetings Cards from 1939. Um, you can see Pinocchio is um, on the front of that card um, on the inside. We have, looks like, signatures from um, a lot of the uh, studio artists. I know Joe Grant's name um, stuck out to me when I glanced at that pretty quickly. And then on the inside, we have um, some of Pinocchio's biggest stars, Geppetto, Figaro, Cleo, but the two biggest, Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket, are saved for the back of the card. Uh, next up is a Jiminy Cricket animation drawing by Ward Kimball. Uh, so kind of similar to that uh, Mickey Mouse one. This one does have some uh, timing notes on it. It's all a bunch of numbers, um, probably for timing keys of the exact uh, moment in the film that this, or in this scene that this uh, drawing would be placed. Um, so that they wouldn't lose place of that. Next up, Ben Alligator animation drawing by John Lounsbury from 1940. There we go. It does have, it's mostly um, black pencil, but there's some green and red shading, um, probably as a, a color guide uh, for the inkers and the painters. Another one from Fantasia. This one is Dinosaur animation drawing by Wooly Reitherman uh, from the, I think it's the, um, I can't remember the name of the music in this sequence, but uh, one of my favorites. Fantasia is an absolute classic, obviously. Next we have the Cinderella ball gown preliminary designs. Oops, I got two things. Uh, so let's see. Um, these were done by Mark Davis um, in 1948, so about two years before Cinderella actually came to theaters. So some different ideas for what the dress looked like. I think this one's probably closest to what we ended up getting. Uh, the other ones, though, are kind of similar to the uh, the pink dress that was in her trunk upstairs that the mice worked on for her. Uh, next up, this one's awesome. Peter Pan's uh, one of my favorites. Definitely my favorite Walt era animated feature. Um, Captain Hook animation drawing by Frank Thomas. Uh, wonderful uh, drawing there. You can also see the lines where the um, camera frame would have um, been intended to cut off. So they do kind of where to stop their, their drawings there. This is awesome. This is, it says Peter Pan fan card, but I know this artwork was used in a lot of the promotional materials for Peter Pan um, back in 1953 when the movie was released. Um, I have some vintage sheet music um, with the same uh, Peter Pan drawing on it. It's awesome stuff. 
Uh, the Disneyland Story Production Report. This is pretty cool. It's actually double-sided, um, and so we've got uh, a lot of information. This is from Disneyland Episode 1, show number 1, um, which is pretty cool. I don't believe that was the show from Disneyland. I think they were running the series about a year or so before the park opened. Yeah, it says this is from 1954, um, but it is double-sided, all of the um, production notes uh, from that report. Next we have a script page from Disneyland TV episode, Tricks of Our Trade. Um, that one was, I believe, all about animation. Uh, I know snippets from it have been released as bonus features on a lot of the um, Diamond Editions and Signature Editions of Disney's classic animated films. The Art of Animation book spread uh, from 1958, that's item number 15. Uh, so it is white on the back because um, it's this inside piece. Uh, that's interesting. It does have some um, some signatures up at the top from the Nine Old Men. Let me get a little more information on this. Walt commissioned this book written by journalist Bob Thomas, who later would write the first major biography of Walt, to celebrate his animation staff. This spread features an iconic photo of the Nine Old Men surrounded by their autographs, reproduced from a unique copy in the Walt Disney Archives. This piece makes for an impressive memento representing the group. So this is great, because obviously this whole box is um, symbolic of all of the work of the Nine Old Men. Next, we have uh, Pongo and Puppy. Uh, this is by Eric Larson from 101 Dalmatians in 1960. Uh, here is a, you Disneyland fans will love this, a Disneyland postcard reproduction of obviously Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, and so this one's from 1967. This is Mark Davis artwork on the back. It does have the uh, rest of the postcard. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could mail this to somebody if you wanted to impress them, but um, I highly recommend that you keep all this stuff together. Um, here we have Shere Khan. This is on kind of heavy card stock. It says this is character sketch uh, by Milk Call. Um, so it looks like these probably would have been used as kind of an animation guide for the other animators to follow to make sure they were all staying on model. So for you Aristocats, this is highly glossy. I'm sure you can see the reflection. Um, this was a promotional handbill. So this is something that would have been uh, handed out uh, at movie theaters to help promote the film. Uh, next up, Disney Studio Photograph from 1972. Um, this one has, uh, let's see, Disney Studio Photograph. This was from uh, Robin Hood. It says there's Robin Hood artwork on the background. Yep, there's Alan and Dale. Um, and so this was the uh, nine old men gathered for a group photo as the Disney company approached its 50th anniversary. The photo was taken in 1972, and that anniversary was in 1973. That's pretty cool. This must be from... An Alice in Wonderland re-release. Um, yeah, this was the preview invitation from the 1974 reissue of Alice in Wonderland. That's why it looks so trippy and psychedelic. Um, on the inside, it has the, the date. This was March 22nd, 1974, 8.30 p.m. at the Walt Disney Studio Theater, um, where a lot of D23 events do take place, especially their screenings on the studio lot. So, um, in fact, I've actually, I think, seen Alice in Wonderland there. So that's a neat item. Let me see. Make, let me just make sure which one comes next. Disney Animation recruit, Recruitment Brochure. This is cool. Um, I believe this was, it says this is 1977. I think this was back when a lot of the Nine Old Men um, had moved on and become trainers for a lot of the 90s era um, animation crew. Uh, so this kind of folds out, has some more character artwork on the back. On the inside, um, we have quite a bit of artwork. Um, let me take a closer look, because yeah, that is the Horned King right there from the Black Cauldron. Um, which was in production forever. So this is 1977. That movie came out in 1985. Um, so yeah, this is when they would have been recruiting. Yeah, I see some uh, Fox and the Hound characters. There's, uh, I think, Copper um, over... Where was it? I know I saw another black character called the guy. Uh, Gurgi. Where'd he go? Oh, here we go. Here's some concepts of Gurgi. Um, so this is a really cool piece to have. I'll be looking through this very closely in a little bit. Uh, this is a pin back button. It says, Happy 50th birthday, Eric, or 50th anniversary. This was Eric Larson's uh, 50th anniversary at the studio in 1983, and these buttons were used within the animation studio to commemorate the event. And then we are about to reach the end. Uh, this is the Disney Legends, Disney Legends Award Ceremony Program from 1989, um, which is, let's see, that was when the Nine Old Men were inducted uh, by works um, attended by... The four surviving Nine Old Men, Mark Davis, Ward Kimball, Ollie Johnson, and Frank Thomas. Um, so on the inside, it is this one is stapled, so it uh, looks like two pages. So you can go through um, information about the Legends Awards. 
information about the nine old men, the people we were honoring that night, and then a little more information. Quote by Walt Disney. Um, it does not say if you can dream it or you can do it, because I don't know if you know this, he did not say that. On the um, back of the inside of the box, too, it has um, some little bios on each of the nine old men. So really great uh, gift. This comes with any of the paid subscriptions for D23. Um, so if you are already a member and you're about to renew for 2017, this will be your gift this year. If you're not already a member, you can join. Um, when you become a paid member, you do get uh, the membership gift plus the magazines. And quite a few of the events that D23 does um, do end up being uh, paid member exclusive. Um, so they have a lot of great events, especially if you live in California or Florida, but they really try and do events um, all across the country. I go to as many as we can. Um, big fan of D23, day one card carrying member. Um, so all this can be yours uh, with your 2017 D23 subscription. Thanks. Have a great day.